Hello there, my name's John from the Stadium YouTube channel and today I've been back down to the Etihad Stadium to give an update on the Etihad um, stand expansion, hotel build, club shop build and fan zone build as well. It's been a couple of months since we've been down here so we're going to take a good look around and see where everything is up to. If you do like content like this, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we will certainly reply. So, let's get into it. There is a big, big change in the stand expansion, which we will show you. Here we'll get over the actual stadium and give you a good look at that. So... Let's get into it. So it looks a bit a lot different to the time we were last here. Obviously, it uh, had a lot of progression in in all areas. Obviously, the hotel is looking a lot more as it should. Um, we're going to focus on that. Right now. I think the last time we come, um, and we'll check this on one of the videos, I think the last time we come, um, there were just like big pillars of concrete. There was no, no like floors in or anything like that. You know, like there was just like the concrete, uh, I think there were going to be the lift shafts or, or whatever, and obviously you're going to have the fan zone directly behind the stand as well, which we will take a look at. Uh, I thought this crane might have been up to something, but um, we couldn't catch exactly what it was doing. But there are plenty of workers on site um, working, working away to achieve achieve the finished article. So oh, let's move on. Just having a little look around the groundworks and stuff. As you can see, there's lots of like cherry pickers, crayons on site. The five main crayons are obviously still there. Um, so this is expected to be finished in time for the 25-26 season. Which is next, next August, isn't it? So, this project has got less than a year to um, to be completed. That's when it's expected to be done. Well, it actually says during the 25-26 season, so maybe not just at the start. It actually doesn't say at the start, it says during, so may not be as soon as I've just stated there. So we're just going to move around to the far side of, of the site. Uh, well, I say the far side is the far side from where I usually film this. So let's just take a look. Um, I'm just going to have a little look at this part. Um, I don't know whether that's where they they're storing all the materials and stuff like that. There doesn't seem to be any physical building work going on. And obviously there are the construction company's officers. Um just there, the temporary officers. So this is what it's the twenty ninth of October today and this is what it is looking like at the moment oh yeah 
I'm going to try and get a little bit closer, see if we can um, try and get some more, a bit more detail into the the video. The stand expansion is really coming along, and you will see a big change from last time we were here. Um, you may have already seen seen it, but we're obviously obviously we are going to show that anyway. Uh, this train here just looks like it's going to leave that on that um, the top of that roof um, or that floor level platform, whatever. Um, may not actually be the roof. You know, it may be going higher than that. Um, I don't have in front of me how many floors the the hotel is is going to be. So that's the outside of the site, the back of the north stand. So, should we get inside and see what's happening? Okay, let's get above the the actual Etihad Stadium and we will see what's going on. Here we go. So, first, obviously, big notable change is the concrete terracing that... Obviously, he's been fitted smack bang in the middle of the stand expansion. And if you have, if you do notice as well, uh, last time we were here, parts of the north stand roof were actually taken out. It uh, looks like they've been put back in now. But yeah, um, shows real, real progress if they're starting to fit this concrete, the concrete terracing in. To to the um, to the expansion, so it looks like it's going to be an absolute monster. It looks like it's going to be absolutely massive. To be honest, uh, it is certainly going to tower over the rest of the stadium. That's for sure. As you can see, the uh, they've put the they've put the flooring and platform levels in to the expansion as well. As you can see there. So, who knows, maybe next time when we come down, there will be more comfy terracing in, in fitted and in place. Uh, what we are going to, what I am going to do is start getting down here once a week. Um, and there's obviously Joe Mercer way in the, in the distance there behind this uh, great great setting where uh, we might as well take a little look at the pitch while we're here uh, we'll do that in one moment here we go so obviously the pitch is being treated uh, Man City were home on Saturday Just, I think they were, they were home Saturday they, they uh, won 1-0 uh, against Southampton um, if you've seen that game, then not very, not a very flat of an scoreline um, to beat Southampton one 0 But saying that, Southampton knocked us out the uh, the League Cup, so I can't really say say much on there. And, uh, Man City were totally dominant. dominant. One word I do struggle to say. So that is how it's looking today on the 29th of October, 2024. You can see the co-op live arena in the background there. Um, we're just going to, before we leave, just get the whole site and stadium into shot. Try and give you an idea of how far back this is actually going to go to. Take care of yourselves and we will see you on the next one. Hopefully that will be next week.